In this video, we will learn about back drilling and how to set it up using the layer stack manager, as well as using the design rules editor to set up stub length and specify applicable nets using a net class. In high speed designs, when the barrel of a wire extends beyond the routing layers, signal reflections can occur. This can lead to signal degradation and integrity issues. One approach used to resolve this is to drill out the unused wire barrels using controlled depth drilling. This technique is known as back drilling. In our example, we will configure back drilling for a net class containing a group of high speed signals. Back drilling properties are configured in the back drills tab. This tab appears when back drills are enabled in the tools, features submenu, or by clicking the features button and then choosing back drill. Click the plus button to add a new back drill definition. In the properties panel, we can set the drilling layers. In this case, we will select layer 8 to be the initial layer and layer 6 to be the final layer. If necessary, we can mirror the drilling by enabling the mirror option in the properties panel. After creating back drilling, we need to save the layer stack so that it applies to our circuit board. The next step is to create a design rule for the new back drilling definition. We will do this using the PCB rules and constraints editor. From the high speed design group, select the subgroup max via stub length back drilling and add a new design rule. In the new rule, we need to change the scope of where the object matches to the net class data. Next, we will set the max stub length to 0.25 millimeters. It is also possible to enable or disable drilling from top or bottom of the board by selecting the options in the constraints area. We also need to set the size for our back drill oversize, in this case to 0.05 millimeters. After creating the new design rule, back drilling will be created automatically for wires in the net class data. In the 2D view, the back drilling is displayed in the wire as two multicolored semicircles. In the 3D view, we will see a drilled hole. In addition, back drilling will remove unused pads from the drill layers. If the back drilling is not created, it will be because of either the stub length is shorter than what we have specified in the design rule, or the conductor is on the layer that intersects the back drilling. In our case, we set the drilling from layer 8 to layer 6, and the track is on layer 7. If we now move the conductor to layer 2, notice the back drilling is now created automatically. Finally, the board will need to be checked for exceeding the max stub length design rule. The best way to do this is using the PCB rules and violations panel. Find the back drilling max via stub length rule and run the DRC check using the right mouse button. In our example, as shown by the DRC marker, there is an excess of max stub length. These errors can be corrected by either changing the inner layer for the conductor, thereby reducing the length of the stub, or return to the layer stack manager and change the back drill definition. 